Hello. Did you know that nearly 80% of enterprise data today is unstructured? On many occasions, replicated data, including personal sensitive information such as first and last names, ID card numbers, credit card numbers, and other, is stored on workstations and servers. This information represents a great risk to organizations due to the impact that data breaches and misuse for malicious purposes can have, and also because of the difficulty of identifying it, finding it, and knowing who has been able to access it, or what information is available to whom based on their role. In this video, we'll show you how Panda Data Control generates an inventory of all files that contain personal sensitive information unattendedly. These inventories will allow us to establish security policies that help reduce risk and better control files with personal data on endpoints. The result of the scan performed on the files in our organization can be seen through the following widgets. The Files with Personal Data widget identifies which files and computers on the network contain generic and critical personal data such as bank account numbers, IT card numbers, or email addresses. The list obtained can be exported to a CSV file for later consultation of the files and data we may want to delete, analyze, or simply to design a work plan to reduce the amount of data stored by the organization and its risk. Furthermore, the Computers with Personal Data widget shows the number of files with personal data, the type of information stored, and the computers and groups that contain those files. Click Filters and select two dates to see the variation in the number of personal data files found. This comparison will let us define risk indicators and see if there has been a reduction of the attack surface. We can save these results as a quick list or export them to a file and later import it to another program for analysis. Finally, go to the Files with Personal Data widget to see the types of personal data found on our endpoints. This widget will help us set priorities based on the most recurrent data types, for example, email addresses. We can also filter the results by the most critical data for the company, credit card numbers, for example, without excluding other types of data. The information on this screen can also be exported to a CSV file for monitoring purposes, or to show the organization and any other third party that requires it the volume and types of data held. As we can see, Panda Data Control's inventory feature helps organizations to comply with the increasingly strict security regulations, as well as to properly manage and process personal information, avoiding sensitive data breaches.